Welcome back to my channel. Ignore my hair. I need to fix this today. Um, it's school time. Taylor's boycotting us today. Um, it's actually move-in day. Well, yesterday was move-in night, right? But I'm going to go get this little dude to school and then we will get to unpacking. Okay, it is officially 1130. And I have done none of which I said I was going to do. I got home and needed to work out some stuff with my bank for school. I got home and I had to call my bank for some stuff. So I decided to paint my nails in that time. I am a go to the salon and get your nails done kind of girly. But all my nails broke and I hate short nails. And I don't want to put on fake nails. So I just said I'll do them at home for this next like couple, like maybe a week and a half, maybe two weeks. And then when my nails grow back, I'll go back to the salon. And then now my boyfriend texts me and told me that he basically is doing nothing um, until like 1 p.m. And if you date anybody in the coaching world, then you know during camp, you only get a small window of time to hang out with them. And so since Tate's at school and I'm not really doing anything, I'm going to go hang out with him for the next like hour and a half. Um, and then I'll come back, which will probably be around 1, 1.30, and I'll come back, and then I'll start unpacking and doing what I need to do, and then I'll probably go pick up Tater. I wanted to work out today because I also somehow accidentally signed up for 75 Soft. Um, it's kind of like a softer version of 75 Hard, and... I'm not disciplined enough for any of these things, so I figured I would start with 75 soft, but I need to work out for 45 minutes today, so I need to like add that into my schedule too. So I got a lot of crap to do today, and instead I'm going to hang with my man, because my man, my man, my man. <laughs> Let's go. Alright guys. We're not gonna pack guys. She's about to say that, but we're not gonna pack. <laughs> okay? It's 4.45. Okay. We're about to start up okay. packing. <laughs> we're about to start up packing. I was trying to take a nap, but somebody Mama. wouldn't let Mama. me. Stop for a second. Hi guys. The kids a special kind of crazy today after school. I don't know what they putting in the first grade lunches. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Apparently. I'm about to hurry up. Anywho, all right, let's do a quick empty house tour. Real quick. Like, whoop. I'm not going to show you everything, but a real quick empty house tour. And then we're going to start unpacking because I have dragged this out long enough. First, you have a sad boy on the steps. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty open floor plan. Those are my couch cushions. Ignore those. Um, it's pretty open floor plan, so living room, just like a sitting area, and then our kitchen and dining room. One bedroom, master. It has a stand-in shower, a tub, a large mirror, and then the toilet's like back there. This room is the guest room, but it's gonna like slash guest room slash my office, so we'll kind of do both. Um, regular closet office i mean um computer i don't really know what i want to do in this room yet as far as like how to set it up so i don't know we'll see how that comes along please come in your room no that's not very nice I great thank you no! so, this is tate's room this is tate's room it's basically almost identical tate picked this room closet is right there goodbye and then another bathroom. This will be Tate's bath. So just a regular tub combo, mirror, toilet, that's it. When we lived in Ohio, one of the things that I loved was the washer and dryer on the third floor. And so that's what we have here again. The washer and dryer. Tate's being a little today. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And this is the deck. I forgot to show you guys the deck, but this is the deck. 
And these are my lovely plants. They're not they're not doing too hot right now. I don't think the move did them very well. They got real dry. Um, because I like saran wrap them. These bad boys were blooming so good. And then I had to put a saran wrap on top of them. Like not saran wrap, but like, you know, the packing wrap. So that they didn't spill dirt everywhere. And I don't know if it being like sealed in for those few hours kind of messed them up, but yeah. They were all doing really well, like these ones. And now they're all flat. Hopefully I can revive them. We'll see. I'm officially in the garage where the boxes are. Let me show you what we're dealing with. So, headboard stuff. My boyfriend has to get the rest of the stuff off the truck. But right now, we have these boxes I have to sort through. That box. I have to bring some of this stuff upstairs. Tater wants to see his toys. That no toys are in there. It's not really no toys. There's a blue bag. That blue bag. In the blue bag, in one of these ones. Only in the mediums. Who put that there? Granny. Oh. Anyway, y'all, let me show you something. They cracked my Peloton when they were moving it. Do you see this? Can you see the crack? They cracked it. Like, crack. Can you see the crack? Yes, you see it. See that crack? They cracked it. Taylor, be careful. Hey, guys. Anyway. Let's get started. Let me see. Let you see? And open all of them. Open all of them? Yeah. So we can tell. I wish I had some scissors. <laughs> but they in one of these boxes. You wanna know me, I stay low-key, I'll cast no breaks, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad. What did you just say? It's a boy. <laughs> Why? Because it's blue shop? Boy. He's saying that because one of our friends just had a, a gender reveal. Anywho. Get Oh, uh, this is the bin that Tate wanted. Did we find what you were looking for? Yeah! Literally was the last one I was looking for. Okay. I'm going to start moving these boxes in the house. Keep the moves on tuck. I know it's all up. Everything good. Keep the vibes on crush. I know it's all good. Know it's all love. I have carried a few boxes in the house and now I like don't even want to unpack them because I'm so tired. My boyfriend's bright idea was to carry the boxes in the garage. And I don't know if he thought I was going to climb up two, three flights of steps to unpack the boxes or what. Not fit to do that, especially when it's like 85 degrees outside so the garage is hot as hell. So we do what we can. The rest will have to wait till tomorrow. Like the motherfucking man Daily Can't nobody do it like I can Daily Fattest in the lattice in the land Body turn your nigga to a fanny up Fanny up I made it where I'm at on my own Had a couple blocks in the road But I get to the bag on the low I be kind of sex while they grow Yeah, you know me Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely I got something for you when we get home If you let me put it down When I come in town, you should lie on me Keep your minds on me On try, baby, I think you should side with me Stay solid one time If you lie with me Just promise you never lie to me Alright, two boxes down Four boxes down Cause one One I, is Tater's box over there That's his toys, I, I'll get to that I live there and I'm gonna see he has made himself a house, as you can see, over there with that box. Yeah. Well, Anywho. And look, I'm writing a chart. I'm going to take me a short break and run to the grocery store so that when my boyfriend gets home, we can have dinner um, in like an hour or two. And yeah, yeah. we're moving along. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Day two of this little moving vloggy. Um... I dropped the boys off this morning, took my boyfriend to work, and took Tater um, to school. 
And now I came back home, I've eaten, I've done what I need to do with like some computer stuff. And now it is time to like literally dig in at this unpacking. Um, they bought some furniture last night. I'll show you, whoa. <laughs> They bought up some of the boxes. You see my tables there. The couches and stuff has made it way up. The TV. So I'll probably rearrange this area, put away Tater's things, and then unpack these boxes. That's what's on the schedule for right now. Um, I need to do those things. Um, I'm also gonna set you guys. Can I set you guys here for a minute? Damn, y'all. Y'all wanna let me set you down for a minute? Hands hurt. <laughs> Um, let's see if I do this. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So I want to get at least the main level done today and unpacked so we can at least like look a little presentable in here. I go home one more weekend this weekend for my last um, contract day and then like that's it. So if you guys watched the last video, then you know I got a contract like the end of July is where it really was I know these vlogs like you know it's never exact and it was a short contract for me I think I only worked like maybe five or six weeks of it and then we decided to move so I had to unfortunately um cut that contract short um and so this is my last week of the contract this um when you it's kind of like the same thing of giving a two-week notice to a job you like just need to let them know However, my agency did tell me that this was the first, like, she was like, most people don't even let us know. They just stop going to the job. And I don't want to be that person. Um, I just feel like it creates bad, you know, rapport for places. And I like to continue to work at some of these places. So, yeah. So I have that. Um, so my last, so the contract this is my last weekend of going back home. And this, we bought the U-Haul, but there were still some things at the house. So... Um, I'm going to swing by the house also on my, um, truck back home, truck back home. And when I swing by the house, I'll bring a couple more things. It still won't be our last trip. I think we're going to go out there during my boyfriend's bye week, uh, which is like towards the beginning of October. And when we go out there for that, that will be our last like, time. We will officially be done going out there, I think. <laughs> At that time i'm also renting my house out i own my home and so i'm renting my house out um so i want to get it on the market to be rented as soon as possible and let's see um today i have an interview that's the other thing i have an interview today so this like really needs to get done before like i want to say like before 12. honestly i have like an hour and a half to really knock it out because i need to start getting ready but i have an interview um your girl was a PRM princess. I would love to stay a PRM princess. But now with renting out the home, if something happens at the house, like I just want to be able to like afford to pay for it, you know? And being a PRM princess is cute. And it, it pays my bills, but it don't fund my lifestyle, if you know what I mean. And I know I'm not doing PRM princess like the right way. The right way to maybe do PRM Princess is to pick up contract PRNs. So like, for example, um, if you find an agency and they have like PR and they have like PRN things all over the place. So like some of them have PRN, like I have a friend who used to go to Oregon, you know, once a month for the weekend to get her like PRN things in. And so I think usually the requirement is like, four shifts in six weeks or something like that. And so it's not really bad, um, but I have a kid and so I can't be traveling, you know, every weekend like that. However, baby, if I didn't have a kid, I would be racking it up. Let me tell y'all, if any of y'all who are nurses or anything that's in healthcare that travels, so like NPs, dental assistants, apparently traveled too, I saw on YouTube the other day, but any of those, you don't have a kid and you got at least two years of experience, in my book, you should have at least two years. But in two years of experience, go get that bag. Do you hear me? Go get that bag. Go get that bag. It was fun while it lasted when my kid wasn't in school. Now he's in school, so it ain't that fun. Um, but yeah, I also am switching specialties. Oh, I can't get that over there. So I am officially going to be an L&D girly if I get this job. 
Um, I am ready to leave the ER for just a little, I think. This last contract, I'm really ready to leave bedside. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute, but um, the uh, LND, I just wanna get a little bit of experience before I feel a little more experience before I fully become a midwife. So I'm supposed to graduate in December. Fingers crossed. So um, they'll get a couple months out of me. They'll get a good like eight, nine months because my thought is that I would graduate in December. Like what's, what is it, August? August, September, October, November, December. So I'll graduate in December, so that's four months. Probably take about a month or two to study for my test and actually take it. And then like a month or two to find a job, you know? So they'll get a couple months out of me, a couple good months, and then that's it. So we shall see, but that's my gig today. Um, and when I say I'm ready to leave bedside, what I really mean is that I'm ready to stop being the nurse, right? It's a whole different life when you're a, the provider. Like, you just live a different life. You ain't by the bedside all the time. You ain't stuck sitting there, you know, like, doing all those, like, minute details. I'm, I'm ready to move past that. I ain't trying to be there. And you're not, like, getting beat up on by the patients, not physically, but emotionally and mentally. So, your girl is ready to move way past that, so... Um, look at this little charcuterie board. Isn't it so cute for football? I am hosting the first away game this year for the girls. We'll be using that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's the life. Oop, sorry guys. That's the life update. Look at that. We're one box down. Woohoo! Uh, but that's the life update. So I think that's mostly it. <laughs> Let me... Let me get some more boxes. Let's keep moving. <laughs> We are pretty much finished. It's about 11.30. I'm about to go upstairs and get myself dressed so I can get ready to go to this interview. I also have to pick up the Wi-Fi on the way, so I'm leaving a little bit earlier. But let me show you how I got done. <laughs> I've set up the living room like this. I'm sure my boyfriend's gonna come in here and change it. I don't even care. Um, I don't know what to put back here. Originally, I was gonna put Tater's like bins and stuff over there. My boyfriend said he didn't like it, so I said, you know what, I'm going to leave the bins, the toy bins over there in the kitchen. Plus, I also was going to put like a, um, like a, sorry, there's like an ambulance or something outside. It's an EMS. I hope everybody's okay. Um, anyway, I was going to put that here, put that here, but, um, I figured I'll just, you know, have it there so I can help him in the kitchen and stuff with homework anyway. Sat these little chairs here. I'm gonna get like a little desk and like sit my little like books, you know, those little fake books on there. Put away everything on the island, mostly. I'm gonna put these, um, we call these things up top there. So I'll have my boyfriend do them the candles because I don't need them as much. And then that's pretty much it. Tate was playing with that box, so I left it out. Living room, Tate's toys. I'm gonna get like some cabinets and put them on top of here and like things to organize this better. Um, and then I'm putting those boxes downstairs. So this is sure your girl has done the do. I am about to get dressed and head to this interview so I am not late. Um, Cause I'm probably, I wanna like be out of here a little bit before 12 and it's like 11.40. So let's go. Good morning guys. It is officially the next day. Um, I ended up going to my interview. It went actually really well. Um, it's more postpartum than labor and delivery, and I thought I didn't want that, but this unit runs their postpartum and labor and delivery so close, like literally like you could, like the nursing station is shared. So I think I like that. They even had the labor and delivery like um, manager in on the interview, which tells me like how connected they are. They cross train their nurses. They said it takes a while, but I'm sure because I already have postpartum background and because I've like, you know, been around for a while that I'll probably do okay and could hopefully keep cross trained pretty early, but it doesn't matter. I, I, and then like, I'll be like doing newborn nursery. So I, the newborn nurse, so I will go and like shadow births or do births as well to like, um, a company for the newborn. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> um, let's see. 
So we so I did the interview. I, I haven't gotten the job yet. I said I'm looking forward to it, but I haven't gotten the job yet. They asked me to come in and do a shadow day. So I'll do that next week. And typically, if you get to the shadow, then you're probably good. But I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to say if they ask, I will say yes. Um, let's see. What else? Um, I ended up picking up Tater. And then we hung out here for a little bit. I really just like laid around. Oh, I worked on a YouTube video for t today. Um, and then... I went and bought my boyfriend. I had to... Today's... They have a game tomorrow, and so camp broke yesterday. And so to do that, my boyfriend like got the boys some like wings and some dinner. Um, and so I had to go pick up the dinner to bring to them so that they could do that. And then we came home, and honestly, we just like watched football for the rest of the night. I fell asleep on the couch. Um, yeah, it was a very chill night. I'm about to head back to uh, my parents' house for a little bit so I can do my last weekend of my contract. Um, I'll probably do that video next for you guys. Um, and then that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.